So normally, uh, in the past, when we've thought about fractions, we've started with a whole, and then we've worked our way into the fractions. Okay, so if we start with the whole being a circle, a lot of times we talk about pizzas because that's something we deal with a lot. And if I were to say, okay, um, the whole is the circle of pizza, then each piece is one fourth, our unit fraction fraction with a numerator of one is one fourth. But that's if we start with the whole and work our way out to the pieces. Uh, but what if we start with the unit fraction? Okay, for instance, I could say, okay, here's a unit fraction. And in that unit fraction, okay, uh, each one of these represents one sixth. So each one of those is equal to one six and here we have a solution to that if this is one six then this is one whole because a whole would be made of six pieces this is our unit fraction one out of six the whole then is six out of six but if i start with the unit fraction again and this time instead of saying this is equal to one six what if I say this is equal to one third? Does that change the shape of our whole? And the answer is it absolutely does. Because this time I'm only going to be able to be able to bring in three pieces, one, two, three, to make that whole. Because this time our unit fraction, one third, means that the whole fraction has three pieces of this size. One, two, three. So here I have two shapes. Both of the shapes are the same. They're both diamonds. Only on the top, I'm going to say that this is equal to one half. And on the bottom, I'm going to say that this is equal to one fourth. One fourth. So what does that do to our holes? Okay. Well, on the top, it means that my unit fraction, one out of two, that my hole is right here. two pieces. But on the bottom one, since I'm starting with the fraction and I'm using that to create my shape, I have a different whole because here I have one out of four is a unit fraction and four out of four is the whole fraction. Okay, So this one is four fourths and this one is two halves. Again, going back to my triangle shape, okay, before we said that one out of six, and that would have given us the entire hexagon, but what if I say instead of one sixth, that this is equal to one fourth? Then what is the whole going to look like? And there's really no way we're going to, it takes four of these, but there's no way that we're going to make a nice, neat shape out of that. Okay, maybe we could put these back to back, but they don't want to line up. So we just have to come up with some type of a shape that incorporates all four of those. Okay, so that if this is the unit fraction, then this is the whole. Okay, doesn't always have to look perfect or beautiful. It might look partial compared to what we're used to thinking. Okay, and that is four fourths and again taking that same diamond or excuse me taking that same triangle shape I could say that what if it equals one half if it equals one half then it's going to take two of the triangles to make a hole because there's my unit and there's how many are in the hole one out of two so in this case this is equal to one hole or two out of two. And to wrap it up, we need to look at the equations for creating our holes. So let's say that we are given that triangle again, okay, and we are told that the triangle is equal to one third. How are we going to determine the whole? And the whole is one third plus one third plus one-third, 
and that is equal to 3 thirds, which would give us uh, three triangles put together, creating the whole. Let's say that we are given a diamond shape. And it doesn't really matter what the shape is. What matters is what is the unit fraction. Okay, so let's say that our unit fraction in this case is one-fifth. The equation to find the whole means that we have units of one, but there are five in the whole. So it's simply one-fifth plus one-fifth plus one-fifth plus one-fifth plus oops one fifth okay and that is going to be equal to five fifths one two three four five five units a total of five per whole so five of these is going to give us our whole okay doesn't really matter what the shape is what matters is what is the unit fraction what is that denominator that's going to help us to determine what our whole is and what we need to solve uh, problems, especially as we get into mixed numbers. One last piece as we begin to wrap this up. Uh, what if we aren't given a unit fraction, but we're just given a fraction? And here's my example. Okay, so here is a half circle. And if I just said half, that would make it easy, and you would just draw the other half, and you would have the whole. Okay, but what if I said that this half circle is equal to two-thirds of the whole. How are you going to solve that? How are you going to figure out what that final shape should look like? Okay. Well, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to create your own unit fraction. Okay. So in order to get a unit fraction out of this, this is two-thirds. I need it to be one-third plus one-third. Okay. So each of these is a third, that is a third, this gives me my final uh, shape value of two-thirds. Now I know what the unit fraction is, and all I have to do to complete this is add that final third, and that would be my whole in this case. If this is, if two-thirds, okay, is the top piece, then my whole is going to be adding another third up uh, to that. Okay, let's look at one more example uh, before we move on. Okay, so here I have a hexagon, and I'm saying that this hexagon is equal to three-fourths of the whole. What is the entire whole going to look like? And so what I need to be able to do in order to solve this is to be able to uh, break this into three pieces, so that I can find out what that um, one-fourth is going to look like for each one, okay? So I break it into three pieces. So there's one, one, two, three. All of those pieces are the same size. I've divided that equally into three pieces. Each piece is one-fourth. So in order for me to uh, complete this shape, what I need to do is I would need to somehow uh, add another diamond onto that. And it doesn't matter what it looks like. What matters is, is, is I have the right number of pieces. And there's my other fourth. So if this section here above the dotted line is three-fourths, three, numerator three, so I divided it into three pieces out of four, so I had to add that fourth piece in order to make my whole. And let's go back to both of these examples before we leave, and let's look at uh, what it would take to write that in an equation form, okay? So here, let's go above the dotted line. That's what I started with was my two-thirds. And I had my two-thirds, and I had to add a third to get my whole. Here, above the dotted line, I had three-fourths, and to that three-fourths, I had to add a fourth in order to get my whole. 
And there you have it.